And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the second semi-final for the title fight, under 95 kilogram. Introducing first, in the blue corner, he's coming from Russia. Make some noise for Mikhail Tuterev. Semi-final number two on the way right now. Mikhail Tuterev of Russia, now residing in the Czech Republic, is 30 years old with a great kickboxing background. And in fact, according to FIA president Doran Damir, he thinks that Tuterev has the best chances of winning this tournament. He's the pick of the president. So let's see if he can live up to the hype here. He says all the three other competitors are about on the same level, but this guy he thinks maybe is a cut above the rest. is over and into the red corner. It's coming from Morocco. Make some noise for Samir Bukidu. Well, we have seen Samir Bukidos before here in FIA kickboxing. He has made many appearances inside the kickboxing ring. In fact, he is the most experienced fighter in the tournament. He's also the oldest fighter in the tournament and the tallest fighter in the tournament. He had an outstanding matchup with Vasil Dukar in March that went to an extra round. Comes in with a record of 34 and eight and trains at the legendary Hemmers Gym with Nikki Hemmers. And take a look who he's got in his corner as well. A glory champion. He says that uh, despite all of his experience, this is his very first tournament. So let's see how he fares. Samir Bukidu. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the blue corner. Weighing 95 kilograms, height 1.80 meters, having a personal record of 32 fights, 25 wins, and 7 losses. He's fighting for Russia. Make some noise for Mikhail Tucherev. <laughs> Presenting the red corner. Weighing 95 kilograms, height 1.90 meters, having a personal record of 44 fights. 34 wins and 8 losses. He's fighting for Morocco. Make some noise for Samir Bukidu. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second semi-final fight. Weighing under 95 kilograms. 3 minute, 3 round, extra 1 round, K1 rules. Referee in the ring, Suhan Yulian. I recommend all the time, no clinching, no elbow. Shake your hands if you want to. Judge, judge. First round, fight. Round one. We are underway with our second semi-final matchup here. Of course, the winner going on to face Alexandru Burduja in the finals later tonight to establish the first ever FIA kickboxing light heavyweight champion. Baukidas, very experienced fighter, but has never competed in a tournament like this before. Facing the Russian, Tuterev, the pick of FIA president Doran Damir to win this whole thing. Everybody remembers the first one, you know? It's like, it, as the years goes by, you know, there'll be three champions, four champions, five champions, but in the history books, it will always read that the first champion was one of these four men competing in the tournament here tonight. Of course, it will no longer be Gokhan Gedik, as he has lost, but, ooh, 
Certainly a historic event in the history, the 10 year history of Bia kickboxing. Cracking low kick there. Valkidas finding the target. Certainly Tutetev really throwing some powerful shots in there as well. Hard knee on the inside and look at that. Tutetev didn't even flinch. Another shot finds the liver area. Valkita's 39 years old, so he's, for a kickboxer, he's really getting up there in age. As I mentioned, he is the oldest fighter in the tournament. Interesting how at 39 years of age and having uh, over 40 professional fights, he's never seen tournament action before. Big knee goes in there from the Moroccan. Wow, you can hear the slap of that low kick echoing off every single wall here in the Minaj Arena. Creeping up on 30 seconds left now. Another head kick there from Valkidas. Final 10 seconds. Boy, that really ignited a flame under Mikhail Tuterev. And that'll do it for round one. Well, a lot of people kind of adjusting their sitting position here in the audience. They can finally take a deep breath and relax after a very tense Round number one here between these two fighters. Take a look at the split screen to see how they're doing in their corners. And take another look at the action from round one. We saw some very, very intense moments there in round one between these two. Valkidas at times unloading with some head kicks. Tutana throwing the hands. It could just be a matter of time before somebody finally finds an opening and makes some huge progress in this matchup. Round two. Right hand lands from the Moroccan to open up round number two. Boy, these tournaments are just brutalizing on the body. I think they shorten your lifespan by a couple months, maybe a couple years, depending on the outcome of the tournament. You hear people speculate all the time about what to do in these tournaments. It's very hard to come up with a game plan when you've got two fights to deal with. The second fight sort of completely depends on the first one so if a lot of people say hey you got to go in there knock out the guy as quick as possible run back to the dressing room take a rest but once the bell rings in the first fight you never know what to expect and here we go little explosion there in the corner some guys like to prepare for both opponents, try to come up with two different game plans. Okay, I know I'm gonna face this guy in the, in the semis and this guy in the finals, let's see what we can do. Other coaches say, look, okay, we'll cross that second bridge, the finals, when we get there, let's just prepare now for the first guy and then see what happens later because you never even know what kind of physical shape you're gonna be in come the finals. And you don't wanna count your chickens before they hatch. Again, another very tense moment here. It looks like uh, Tuterev may have found a home for the right hand there. 
This is Wildy with the left hand and blocks the counter kick. You can see Tuteta trying to close the distance, trying to cut down the ring, trying to get that big guy into the corner. It's a good game plan. He's a lot less effective when there's not much room between these two because look at how long his arms and his legs are. There's no way he's going to be able to fully extend one of his limbs if, he, if the, whoa, my, if he's trapped in the corner like that. Makes it much harder to use his power. Kutetev again, closing the distance, trapping the Moroccan in the corner and unloading here with a few big shots. End of round two. Round two highlights here at Kia Kickboxing, volume 27. One of these two men will advance to the finals. There's no question about it. To face Alexandru Burduja for the richest prize in the 95 kilogram weight division. Tricky little inside low kick there. Caught him right on the inside of the left knee and disrupted his equilibrium there enough to take him down. And again, we see the game plan really coming into effect here of Mikhail Tuterev, the Russian, by way of Czech Republic. Hello. That one knocked him way back into the ropes that time. Well, Tuteta really for a while now has been, has really been controlling the ring. I'm gonna mop this up over here. Well, the mop just came apart. Referee took matters and the mop into his own hands and here we go. Tuteta right back in his face. I think that the Baukidas needs to be a little bit quicker in there. As soon as he sees the Russian moving in and coming into striking distance, he needs to fire away. Easy for me to say and give advice here at ringside. I haven't been hit in the face yet today. Cracking low kick there from the Moroccan. Didn't quite pull the trigger on that one. Hits the canvas again. You got to remember it. If he does survive to the finals, then all those times he's got to pick himself up off the canvas, he's just expending more and more energy, and it's just draining your tank. Ooh, scores a left jab, overhand right, finds a home as well. But well, Borduja ended up going the full three rounds with Gedik in a, in a matchup that was a lot more slow paced than this one. And there was a lot less output offensively from both of the, of the competitors. And this one a little bit, a little bit more action, more overall uh, output from both guys. And certainly, it seems like Tutetev really coming into his own here, at least as far as round three is concerned. And again, he shook 
the foundation of Samir Baukidus yet again. Good right hand to return from the Moroccan. Good uppercut there. Crowd starting to get into this one. There is no Moldovan in the ring here, but certainly appreciative of the action they see inside the FIA kickboxing ring. And this one will be decided by the judges. Who will go to the finals? To face Alexandru Burduja? Stand by, we will find out in a few moments. And take a look at round three action. Uh, just judging by the reactions of both fighters, I, I don't think that either one of them is like extremely satisfied with their performance. It was a hard fight. It was a very tough contest for both individuals, which is certainly not going to make the finals any more fun. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is, by unanimous decision, for the blue corner, Mikhail Tutere! Tutere gets the victory and moves to the finals. Somebody is going to walk out of here with the 90.